Hello, I'm Sienna Bowles. Welcome to my channel, Learning Balance Life, and today we're going to talk about what is potential difference between two points. So, as you can remember in my previous episode, I talked about electrostatic potential, so you can go back and watch that episode as a refresher before I view this one. So, um, I explained to you what was electrostatic potential. It was potential of a point in, in an electric field, that the amount of potential that is measured in volts. So today we're going to talk about potential difference. So I'm going to first explain the concept and then I'm going to read the contents in the board. So now we can begin. Now the way I'm going to explain this, uh, I'm going to use an example. Like take one point A, arbitrary point A, I'm drawing here, A, in an electric field, okay, and that is having 100 volts, let's say, I'm giving a rough estimate of 100 volts of electrostatic potential at that specific point in the electrostatic field, and I mean the electric field. Now, take another point, B. B is another point in the same electric field, let's say, I'm making it here, B is having 110 volts of electrostatic potential, which means, what it means is that to bring in the positive charge from infinity to point A, it took 100 joules of work, so the electrostatic potential at that point is 100 volts, and to bring the unit positive charge to B, the point B in the electric, same electric field, it took 110 volts, that means 110 joules of work, Hence, the, the electrostatic potential at that point is 110 volts. Now, let's say I want to shift this unit positive charge, since they're in the same electric field, if I want to shift this unit positive charge from point A to point B, that is 100 volts to 110 volts, like this, I'm shifting it, then it would take 10 joules of work because it took 100 joules of work to reach A and 110 joules of work to reach B. So it takes 10 joules of work to shift it. And since we are working in electric fields in this case, we are taking 10 volts. This is 10 volts of potential difference. So the amount of work that is needed to shift a unit positive charge from one point to another in an electric field is basically the potential difference. And in case of my example, the potential difference is 10 volts. So now I will read the contents of the board. The amount of work required to be done in moving a unit positive charge from one point that is at lower potential to another at a higher potential is called the potential difference, PD, between the two points. The SI unit of potential difference or voltage is volt or capital V. Now, positive charges always move naturally from a point of higher potential to a point of lower potential. Now, this is a very important thing to know, is that whatever we see, most of the time, it always has a tendency to go from a higher potential to a lower potential, because from a higher potential to lower potential, it does not need any work to be done. But when you try to bring something from a lower potential to higher potential, you need to do some work, like in this case. So that is what is written here. Positive charges always move naturally from a point of higher potential to a point of lower potential. Like in, in the second, in this third bracket, I've given an example of like water moves on its own from a place of higher potential, that is altitude, to a place of lower potential, altitude. So this example makes you think that even nature exhibits the same thing like in case of the unit positive charges, which we are talking about now. So I'm giving you a few moments to look at the board's contents and also look at this example and understand what is potential difference to enhance your concept. Hope you enjoyed learning this with me and please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.